hello everyone welcome back so in the previous video we learned how we can create a beautiful tab bar navigation using expo router but since i posted that video some of you guys mentioned that i should add animations to this tab bar so in this video we're gonna do that but before you watch this video i suggest to watch the first part where we created this tab bar so i will leave the link of that video into the video description I've cloned this repo that you can find on my github account. I will leave the link of this repo as well. So once you clone this repo, you will have this code where we have all the tabs. Then in the components folder, we have our tab bar component that's currently being shown into the tab bar navigation and it's being used here into the tabs. So if you go to the tab bar, you will see for each item, we are returning this touchable opacity that's being displayed for each item in the tab bar. So first thing we're going to do is separate this into a different component. So let's create a component and let's call it tab bar button. Let's create a function component and save it. Now instead of returning this uh, touchable opacity and with the label, we're going to return this uh, tab bar button component that we just created and we will pass some of the properties to it. So first we need to pass the key as the route name actually let's just copy all the properties from this touchable opacity and paste it here like this so we don't need this key and we also don't need these properties until the test id so let's just remove all of this now we're going we're gonna pass some of the properties like if the button is focused the label and the color so let's pause is focused then let's pause the route name then we need to pass the color but it will be conditional so if the button is focused then we will use a primary color but if it's not then we will use gray color and lastly we need to send the label as well so let's close it and save it and you will see all the icons and the labels are gone and we see this tab bar button which is coming from this component now we can use these values to animate the icon and the label but first i want to move the icons to a separate file because then we can just import the icon and use it anywhere so first we'll need to create a file into our assets let's call it icons and let's cut the icons from this file and paste them here now let's export the icons now we're gonna import the icon libraries so let's import and design feather and for the color uh, we don't have gray color here so let's just remove this because we're already passing the color based on the condition so it's all good we moved all the icons to that file because uh, it's not a good practice to declare all the icons into the tab bar button so we don't really need this code so let's just comment it down and now let's move to tab bar button and create the icon and the label actually we we do have that code here so let's just uncomment this and let's copy the icon and the label code and we will just use that inside the component so let's comment it again and move to our tab bar button and paste it here let's format this now we're gonna need these properties that we used here so let's receive the props and from the props we gonna extract some of the properties like is focused label the route name and the color of the icon from the props then first thing we're gonna do is import the icons from the icons file and instead of route dot name we're gonna use route name that we're passing to this component and we can just use the color as it is because we already applying the condition in the previous component so don't need to apply the condition again same thing we can do here so everything looks all right so let's just save this okay so we can see the icon and the label but we forgot to add the container styles so first let's change this to oppressable then let's spread all these props here so that it can work as a button because this includes the on press method as well so for the style let's create our styles using the style sheet then add the container styles uh, let's copy these styles from the previous component which we used for the tab bar item so let's copy this and let's remove all of this because we don't need this here 
and let's copy the styles here and use the container styles for the pressable like this and save this now we can see the tab bar navigation same as before nothing has changed but we moved the tab bar button to a different component and this will make it easier to add the animation using its focus property now to add the animation on each item when we click on the icon we need to install a library react native reanimated but with the latest version of expo you uh, you will get this library already installed so if you go to package.json you will see reanimated is already installed so you now need to install it again now we're gonna use the scale of the icon to animate it and make it bigger when the item is clicked and we're gonna declare a scale value using use shared value hook from reanimated basically this is a uh, an animated value that we can change and the style will animate but we need to change this property once the is focus is changed or the scale value is changed so i'm gonna put these as a dependency so when the scale or the focused value is updated we will change the scale value to zero or one based on if the item is selected or not so scale dot value will be uh, first we need to make sure if the is focused property is boolean so let's use type of is focused equals to boolean then based on if it's true or not we will assign a one or zero value to the scale value so if it's focused then we will assign one otherwise zero but if it's not a boolean then we will just simply assign is focused like this now if the scale value is one then that means we need to increase the scale of the icon and this will be bigger otherwise it will be normal size but i need to wrap this logic into another function that will change the type of the animation because otherwise it will just increase the size without the animation so the function i'm going to use is with spring i'm going to wrap this logic into this function and whenever this will animate this will have a spring like motion and uh, we need to add a second parameter to this logic so let's just add comma and this will be just an object with some options and we're gonna use the duration as 350 which is in milliseconds and that will be the duration of the animation so that's done now uh, we have used the scale value and we are updating it based on if it's active or not but we're gonna animate this icon based on this value so let's wrap this inside an animated view and uh, let's copy this icon and paste it here and if I save this nothing should be changed so everything still works fine but now we need to provide animated styles to this view so that when we change the scale it animates and for that we need to declare animated icon style and we will use a hook from reanimated use animated style we will have a callback function here this will return a style object this is just like another style object but the values that we change here will animate so we need to modify the scale value so let's declare a scale value and here we need to use a function interpolate this function basically maps a value to another value in our case we will use scale dot value to map an input range to the output range so we'll use three parameters first will be scale dot value and then comes the input range which will be 0 or 1 in our case because we are changing the scale dot value to 0 or 1 if it's focused or not then after this we will define our output range which will be based on the input range so if the scale is 0 we will use the scale for the icon 0 0.8 and if the scale value is 1 then we will use 1.2 scale value for the icon so now we can return this scale value to update the style for the icon so let's use transform property and use the scale value in an array like this now we can use this animated icon style to the animated view so let's define style and add the style here like this save this and let's just refresh the app now when the focus changes or if we click on any other item it will animate the scale of the icon and it's working great and what's happening is basically it's changing the scale of the icon from 0 0.8 to 1.2 based on if the scale value is 0 or 1 and it's applying a spring like motion that we used here 
and that's how it's animating the scale of the icon when we click on any other item we can also change the duration of the icon so let's increase it to 1000 and now we will see a slower animation when we move from one item to another item just like this but i think it's too slow so let's change it back to 350 and if you want to add more animations you can do that as well so let's say now i want to hide the label and make the icon bigger and into the center now we'll do that and first we will need to change this text to animated.text basically we can just change the opacity of this text to zero when the button is focused so we will do that and for that we will need to copy this animated style for the text as well so let's change this to animated text style and here instead of the scale value we will use the opacity we will use the same scale value but uh, we will use the different output range so scale value input will be 0 and 1 but for the output when the scale value is 0 the opacity will be 1 and if the scale value is 1 the opacity will be 0 that means if the button is focused opacity will be 0 and if the button is not focused then the opacity will be 1 and we need to return that opacity here so let's return opacity and we can use this style on our animated text style so let's wrap this in an array and use animated style text and let's save this we can already see the label is hidden for the selected item basically it's not hidden its opacity becomes 0 when the scale value changes to 1 so that's how it's working now I want to increase the size of the icon and make it centered so let's do that let's go to the output range of the icon style and if the icon is not focused its scale will be 1 and if it's focused the scale will be 1.5 just like this okay so the icon is bigger now but we still need to add a spacing at the top so let's do that and for that we can just copy this scale value and change this to a top value we will add a top value based on if the item is focused or not so if it's not focused we don't need to add any top value and when it's focused we will add a top value of 7 and let's save this um, Oh, we still need to return this top value so let's add top value to the style and now it's in the center let's just refresh the app and see if everything's working so if i change the selected item the label gets hidden and the icon is working as well i think the icon is too big so let's reduce the size to 1.4 scale and we need to change the top value to 8 i guess so if we change the selected item the label gets hidden and the icon gets bigger and moves to the center and everything is working great it's not the best animation i would say but this gives you an idea of how you can add animations to your tab bar navigation because this is a custom tab bar navigation so you can literally do anything you want so if you have learned something from this video then do like the video and subscribe the channel also share this video with your react native friends and I will leave the GitHub repo for this project into the video description so you can check out the code or maybe give it a star. Uh, if you want to support my channel then you can do that by visiting my buy me a coffee page. I will leave that link into the video description. And this is it for this video. See you in the next one.